Fiddle again folks, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're looking for the next episode in the Romania road trip series, well, you've come to the right place, this is it. Not much happened after the transfer garrison, I met up back up with the Canary Motorcycle team uh, and Dave, and then we sort of just headed right through Romania into Hungary. They headed to Budapest, but I had a little appointment up in the Netherlands. So I left them once we got into uh, Hungary, and then I made my way across Hungary and all the way up to the Netherlands where you'll join me now. So what is this then? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some fun with that. That's mint. Right folks, I'm here with Randy, we're at Jekyll and Hyde, and we're going to find out more about these exhausts. Okay, right, ready when you are. So we have here an uh, open cut demo, so you see here in the exhaust you see a valve, uh, and the valve is uh, electronically adjustable. So you have a button on your uh, handlebars, and if you push the button the valve will open, and you uh, have a straight through pipe until the end. Uh, and then if you push the button again, the valve will close and the exhaust gases and the sound will go to the outside. And then it will come out here and your exhaust is silent. Sneaky, loving it. <laughs> it's like Christmas time. Oh, look at that. Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> look at that, people. It's based on option 719 of BMW itself. Oh, is it? Oh, the, yeah, yeah, the uh, billet. Yeah. Up in my game here. Oh, Pete English, you know, you want one. I need one of these in my garage. Yeah. Right, so Randy is just starting to put the exhaust on now. When you buy the exhaust, it's a full step-by-step -step instructions. It's meant for the, the, the dealerships for them to follow. But when you buy your own, you can do this too. You can buy your own. Ah, you only work with BMW dealers. Okay, so it has to be a dealership. Yeah. Every day is a school day. It can only be done through the dealership, not through you. <laughs> so when you buy it, it'll go to the dealership and they'll fix it for you. So that's what, because of warranty? Yeah, so we sell 60% of our exhaust directly through uh, our new bikes. So we plug into the ECU of the bike. So we want to keep the warranty of the bike also. Gotcha. So that's why we only work through dealers. Beautiful. Can't believe how dirty that, well, I can't believe how dirty this bike <laughs> is. If you watch the channel, you know I'm not good at washing bikes, but um, it will get a clean when I get back from the TT, I promise. Look at the state of this bike. Oh God. Pete, I am so sorry about the state of this bike. I will clean it, I promise you. So you just run in the, the cabling for the, the button yeah. along the, the normal uh, cable channels. From the button to the electronics. Yep. The button is mounted already. Um, we just go on the bank to the electronic box. Beautiful. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Steve from a bike thing, he would be having a heart attack looking at the wiring. <laughs> Sorry mate, I know you do it differently, but... I bet that was a bit trickier than you thought it was going to be. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to hear it. Okay, so this is the first startup. It will smoke and it will stink to begin with because all the internals in here, they have to sort of bed together when you first switch it on.
so the bikes had a chance to heat up and now we're going to go open mode. Up here. Here's the button. You hear that, don't you? Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun with that. So there's three modes. They're all entirely legal. That's the thing that they pride themselves with here at Jekyll and Hyde. In Germany, they have an even tighter sort of MOT type things, an annual sort of service that they have to pass every year. And emissions and sound volume is part of that. That's a whole point of the whole Jekyll and Hyde. Everything they do is legal. They test it at all the different rev limits and this will pass absolutely everything. One is actually quieter, but deeper than stock. Two is a 50-50, you've heard that, it's got a nice little rasp to it. And three is just an all-out demon. Wow, loving it, can't wait to try this on the road. Oh, it's getting better, isn't it? Oh, oh yes. Is that switched on? Yep. So I'm pushing hold this for five seconds. Oh, hang on. I need to switch mine on. <laughs> Phone connected. Okay, so mine is on. I'm pushing hold the. Yeah. Grouping initiated. So, and then we push and hold the top button for five Searching seconds. Searching for group. Okay. Searching for group. And then I push the top button once. Grouping success. You said grouping success? Yeah. Cool. Mine keeps searching for a searching little while. For group. I've, got the, grouping I've got the camera succeeded. on it. One group member connected. There we go, we're in now. So this is Randy. How you doing Randy? Yeah, good, and you? Excellent, excellent, thank you. Randy uh, very kindly organised all of this. He got in touch because he saw I was going to be heading in Romania. So he said, look, see as you're swinging by, why don't you stop by the Jekyll and Hyde company? and try one of our exhausts. So that's it fitted to the tractor. And as you've just heard, it sounds insane. And now we're gonna pop out for a wee ride on a couple of other bikes. We've got the Indian Chief and we've got the BMW R18, both of which have the Jekyll and Hyde fitted. Jump on this. Oh, there we go. Okay, right. let's go. At the moment it's in Jekyll, which is the civilised mode. Once we get out, I'll get that changed and we'll put it into Mr Hyde for the animal. <laughs> oh. oh wow, what a difference isn't it, straight away. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Indian is really huge. Wow, it changes everything about you doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, the whole riding experience. Yeah, you feel like a badass all of a sudden. <laughs> what is your, what's your favourite bike then to have the Jekyll and Hyde on, Randy? Oh, that's a very difficult one. <clears throat> I really like the Triumph. Uh -huh. And we have a Triumph RS Showcase, uh, so we can ride that also later. Yep. They really sound very, very good. 
without being like really loud. So uh, the Indian is much louder, but I think the quality of the sound of the Triumph is so high. Right. And, and for myself, BMW or the GS sounds really amazing together with the quick shifter. Sounds so different. Have you already tried the other ones? Uh, no, I'll do that as we pull away. I just love this one. <laughs> <laughs> so later on we can drive to some towns. Mm -hmm. And there we always put it quiet, also because Jekyll is in the neighborhood, of course. Gotcha, gotcha. If I drive there every day with the open exhaust, then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you might not make some friends. Yeah. <laughs> What is the Netherlands like for riding then, Randy? Do you get lots of good roads here or or not? Uh, a little bit. In the south of the Netherlands uh, there's a little bit of hill. Uh -huh. um, but normally, because I live so close to the border, I always actually, when I go on day trips, I always drive to Germany. Yeah, gotcha. Because speed limits are higher, fines are lower. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to get the... Um, the GS with that new exhaust around the mountain at the Isle of Man. It's going to sound incredible. I can't wait to see the video. <laughs> Everyone will be like, what is that? <laughs> I constantly hear giggles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a little boy with a new toy. <laughs> can you even hear the BMW here, or is it just uh, Indian? Uh, I can, when you when you accelerate, I can hear, and when you uh, when you blip when you blip the, the yeah, throttle. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is no way this ever gets oh, boring. The horse. Yeah, got gotcha. you. The horse. So can you go into jackal mode? Yes. Oh wow! It sounds like the engine's been switched off. <laughs> that is so quiet. Yeah, but this is this is like one of the greatest parts of this system. Wow. So the horse doesn't get scared. Yeah. Wow. It's like two different bikes. Yeah. And then we have some open road. You push the button again. <laughs> that is amazing. Wow. wow. There you go, folks. Well, I mean, what a fantastic system, isn't it? Sound pollution is, is something which is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger in the UK, as in the government are going to be paying more and more attention to it, folks. We're already seeing it. There's already a couple of like noise abatement cameras springing up on some of the more popular biking roads. It won't be long before they start bringing fines in for this sort of stuff. And that's exactly why Jekyll and Hyde have sort of come about really because they're already doing that here on the continent they're doing it in Germany they're doing it in France and Netherlands they were even talking about doing it in Spain believe it or not and as you can see here with this one system effectively you've got three bikes you've got Jekyll you've got Hyde and then there's the 50-50 option and we've already seen one of the main advantages of it when you go by the horse I mean, listen to the difference this is in Hyde the maniac push the button I mean listen it's like a totally different bike and then if I push that twice it goes into the 50-50 mode and that's also how we promote it you know we say social sound yeah so we also recommend to use the exhaust for what it's intended to do absolutely so not to go through the villages with full open exhaust yeah because then yeah yeah beat the purpose but I think it's lovely that here in like countryside you can enjoy the sound Absolutely. And if you drive into the village, it's quiet. Now, folks, Randy's given me a bit of a tour around the facility there at, at Jekyll and Hyde. There's a lot of this stuff is a bit top secret. It's a bit sneaky-beaky, so I can't, I can't show you everything and tell you everything. But they are... What's the best? Sound engineers. That's probably the best way of describing you guys, isn't it? Your sound yeah. social sound engineers. They really are putting a lot of thought into you know, each different exhaust for different makes and models of bikes. They look at the legal side of it. First and foremost, they're looking at the legality of it, as in, you know, like what rev range are the police and the MOT people? What rev range are they testing? And so they're designing their exhausts based around that, so that no matter what mode you have this in, when it's tested, it will always 
always be legal. Let's not skin, uh, skip around this. These are premium products. You're going to be paying top dollar, but you are getting a premium product. You know, it's a crop of its sort of prices, but you're getting three exhausts for one, and you're getting three legal, fully legal exhausts as well, which we all know with a crop of itch and other aftermarket exhausts, they're not always legal, are they? I often no, take the baffles out. definitely not. So, uh, wow. Wow. I'm gobsmacked by this. And also what you, you have with, um, so if you have constantly, each, each um, exhaust, we develop it, develop it for a bike. So that means also performance. Yeah. Uh, so of course, for legality reasons, we can't overdo more than 5% in performance or uh, score less than 5% of the normal performance. Uh -huh. um, but you can, we can guarantee that the bike has more performance with the exhaust without you tuning it or something like that. Yes. So if you put an open exhaust on your bike, uh, you also, so you buy an Aquapovich for like 1,000 euros or 1,200 euros, you also have to go to your dealer and let it um, How the engine mapped or yeah. tuned again. You yeah, know? yeah. And this one is really developed on the OEM on the OEM package. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. It just makes you smile again. Love it. What impact do the exhausts have on fuel economy? Do you know? No, fuel economy is something that we don't register. Okay. Um, but I can say that it doesn't uh, doesn't do anything with the airflow. So we always keep within the airflow, so you can keep the performance. Okay. So I don't expect uh, to be have a huge impact on the uh, on the uh, fuel economy. Okay, no problems. Well, I can I can feed that back to you. If there is any difference, I'll I'll let you know. Oh, I cannot wait to ride the GS now. <laughs> I just can't wait to get on the tractor. <laughs> okay, so we're going through village. Let's just there we go. Look, Jeez. but here you can go to jackal mode. Yeah, you know, people don't watch you, watch you, or it disturb you because now we're really driving into the town. Yeah, you know? it literally sounds like you turned the engine off. I can't believe the difference. It's even quieter than the stock one, isn't it? Yeah, some of them are. So the GS is definitely more quiet than uh, than stock. So that'll be good for for early morning starts as well, folks. If you're a shift worker, I remember like start starting my bike at four o'clock in the morning. Sometimes you're not best friends with your neighbours when you do that. Whereas <laughs> this will always start in it'll always start in the quiet mode, won't it, Jekyll? Yeah, it only it always starts in closed mode. In closed, right? Um, because also, so if you if you. Uh, shut your bike down when the valve is open after some time it will automatically close gotcha right right you're gonna see randy now we've just had some lunch thank you very much for that randy no problem and hopefully hopefully this bike's gonna start because i left the ignition <laughs> on because <laughs> someone left the ignition on oh wow so now I know how it feels to be a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, it has a toe heel uh, shifter. Ah, right, Sorry. okay. So your oh. heel is to, to go to the second. Gotcha, gotcha. So up is heel and down is... Uh, yep, got you. Yeah? Yep, gotcha. Thank you. And watch out, if you throttle it like this, it does, it shakes. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> you can feel it. <laughs> wow. Did you see the kid on the bike? He had his, no, I didn't see he had his no. headphones on and when we changed it to the hide mode and accelerated, he like took his <laughs> headphones off and was looking around thinking, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you win. <laughs> this is the life, folks. This is the life. <laughs> Randy, we're both at work here, mate. You know. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. We've made some right choices in life, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> I think our uh, vision. What do you think of our vision, giving the rider the ultimate riding experience? I love it. I love the option. I love the choice that you give with the three modes. If you get used to it, then uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, then you don't want anything other. 
Yeah, you can really see the, the, the practical side of it, can't you? Just just riding around yeah. like this, coming yeah. into the towns, and even there when we had the horse, when we were coming in. It's, yeah. it's just perfect. I just feel like a kid again, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> this whole bike moves when you throttle it. Uh, we can have a go on one of the Harleys, the breakout. Beautiful. So that's a Thank you. 2021 uh, breakout, Harley Davidson breakout. Yep. Um, it has a really huge fat tire, I think 240. So good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, we're in the Netherlands, there's no corners here. Do you know, I, I, I like sitting with my feet out the front now. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, I never thought I would, but I do. God, it's so quiet in mode one. Yeah, then wait until you push yeah, the button. <laughs> I know, yeah. I can't wait. Right, push the button. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, yes. What a difference. Like this. <laughs> you have to fight to get it round the corner, don't you? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You've really got to give it a lot of um, counter steer. <laughs> yeah, and uh, if you drive a little bit faster, it directly hits uh, the floor. Yeah, it fights you all the way. I quite like that. <laughs> I drive a lot care more careful on that than you. <laughs> not, not that. I think it helps because I am 20 stone. You know, I've I've got yeah. a lot of body weight to help move the bike. You know. Uh, I don't know what, what is a stone. I have no idea. Uh, that's about 100 and uh, about 127 kilograms, 128 kilograms. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so now we are driving exactly at the speed that my valve is closed. Oh, okay. So if I now give it a little more, now it opens up again. Ah. I don't know if you can hear that from your bike. No, all I can hear is my bike, really. Yeah. <laughs> Love your job. <laughs> Maybe we can do a quick change here. Okay. Try and get it in neutral. Yeah, that is always difficult with all these. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> right. The Thruxton. Oh yes. Oh wow. That's a different sitting position, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> now that's already in open mode. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. Right. Yeah. So push that once. Right. I'll let you go first. Oh, yeah. All right. Yep. Okay, so this is it in Jekyll. God, that's a weird riding position when you've come from that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I feel like my arse is up in the air or my head's in the ground. <laughs> Right, let's... Yeah, if you're used to the bike that we just rode and then you get onto that, yeah. it's so different. <laughs> it is, wow. Oh, wow, what a difference, putting that in jack in height. Oh. Yeah. If you open her up a little bit, I, yeah. really, I, really, I really enjoy that sound, I think, the most. It totally, totally transforms every bike, doesn't it? Yeah. There's not a single bike out of Volo. What's that? Uh, there's four bikes we've ridden now. They, they all, every single one of them, are totally different the second you activate the hide mode. Okay, what's this like in 50-50? Oh, wow, yeah. It's a bit more civilised. She was Jekyll sounds so quiet. Do you know, when, when I first started looking at these exhausts, these Jekyll and Hyde, I remember thinking, well, why, why would you bother putting it in Jekyll? Why would you ever have it in any of the quiet modes? But it, <laughs> it totally makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, it's also social pressure, of course, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, next to the legality. Um, and, but also, you know, if you want to keep riding this way and you want to keep to make some noise, then it's better not to... Uh, make everybody pissed off at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I think that that's a very European way of thinking. I don't think 
we Brits are particularly like that on the whole, but I think that's changing. Yeah. I think probably because the social pressure, well, especially from the government at the moment, it, it is starting to, to tighten up with yeah. regards to like noise pollution. So I know to, to begin with, I will just have it in hide mode all the time, but I know <laughs> that will change. You know, the novelty will will change and I'll, I will start yeah. putting it into the quieter mode at times. So we're gonna head back folks and then we'll be taking out the tractor <coughs> so you'll get a chance to hear what that sounds like and then I have my ride back to Calais yeah. the tunnel across got to stop by home to see Mrs Teapot and the dog drop off the dirty washing and then head on <laughs> up to Haysham for the ferry across to the Isle of Man living the dream here's the moment of truth people are you ready oh. How quiet that sounds in mode one. You're right. It is. It is more quiet than. It is quieter than. Than stock. Yeah. Than stock. Okay. Right. So we've had that. Let's. Oh. You can just hear the whole engine note change. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm liking this already. I'm going to have to buy a Harley or an Indian. Now you're used to the Indian, of course. It's I know. Super loud. This sounds like a sewing machine now compared to those big old <laughs> engines. Oh, it's got a lovely overrun on it. Oh. I love the smell of exhaust in the morning. <laughs> oh. It's got a lovely brap every time you hit the throttle, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 definitely. And if you keep it up, it's a rap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I've missed that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, so. Put it into Jekyll mode. You're going into Jekyll mode here? Uh, I am, just to listen, <laughs> that's all. Ah. And then... God, do you hear the, do you hear the, the tone yeah. change there, folks? So I was just yeah. in third gear. Sort of about half revs. Right, what about... So this is 50-50. Oh, even that sounds quite nice. At the end, we can go to the left there uh, again, right? Oh, okay, yeah, after you, after you. <laughs> oh, there she is. So when you're in 50-50 and you push the button, it goes straight to closed, Fire. doesn't it? Yeah, into, yeah, yeah. Into Jekyll. It's got a lovely little overrun. Brap. Bosh. Cool. All right, man. Right, folks, that's us done. I'm going to be leaving. Randy here, we're leaving Jekyll and Hyde and we're heading to the tunnel. Oh. Alright, we we'll see you later. Ta da! Oh. Oh. <laughs> we like. See you later. What a top bloke. How good does this sound now? It's just straight to Cali. Got to take it easy apparently on the motorways here in uh, Denmark as apparently they have average speed cameras. I wish I'd known that before. Oops. All right, we're here. We've made it to the tunnel. I have five miles of fuel left. Hopefully the petrol station at Folkestone has fuel. Otherwise, I am foobard. So if you've never done the tunnel before, it's nice and easy. You just roll on. Hello bud, thank you. Mind your head. And then you have to park along, sort of perpendicular. Just give them some room. Done. That is us. Oh. Whew. Next stop, Blighty.